John, I hear you've been doing some research on taste. That's right. You know, we can distinguish thousands of different tastes, and yet there are only a few basic tastes we can detect. Four, isn't it? The human tongue can detect sweet, salty, bitter, and sour tastes, right? That's what people used to think, Susan. And different tastes were supposed to be made up of those four basic components in different proportions. Of course, they were partly right. Complex flavors are made up of simpler tastes. That's what I've always thought. And we like certain tastes because they're good for us. For instance, we like the salty taste because salt is good for us. I thought salt was bad for blood pressure or something. Too much salt, yes. But the body needs salt, Dave, like we need sweet things to give us energy. On the other hand, we dislike bitter tastes because lots of poisons are bitter. Well, anyone for a nice cup of poison? I mean, coffee? Or how about some strong dark chocolate? People can't get enough of those things, John, and they're bitter. It's true. Children don't like bitter tastes at all, but for some reason, grown ups often do. I'm afraid there are still a few mysteries to clear up. John, you said people used to think there were four. Right. Since about 2000, most researchers have come to accept a fifth taste. We've discovered that the tongue has another set of detectors, which are associated, like sweetness, with pleasure, for a chemical called glutamate. So, this, what did you call it? Glutamate? Must be good for us. Is that the idea? That's right, Dave. It's present in things like meat and other proteins, which the body uses to build muscles and so on. Ah, that rings a bell. There's a Japanese word for this fifth taste, isn't there? What was it? It's called umami, usually translated as savory in English. Umami was actually discovered in Japan about a hundred years ago, but it's only been accepted in other countries recently. It's the taste you find in meat, cheese, and green tea, also mushrooms. Mushrooms? Don't you like mushrooms, Dave? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. But I find it hard to believe that evolution has given me a special mushroom detector to encourage me to eat them. Lots of mushrooms are poisonous, aren't they? Oh, yes. Hey, I have an idea. Perhaps you could go and investigate some of them. Very amusing. But aren't there more basic tastes than we've mentioned so far? What about curry, for example? Isn't the hot or spicy taste of curry a basic taste? I have news for you, Dave. In fact, there is no hot or spicy taste. According to most experts, hotness is not a taste, but a sensation. It's a physical feeling, like pain, not a taste. Oh, well, you learn something new every day.